myself. Yes, yeah, so my name is Svetlana Tarasenko. Mm, I am a PhD in economic science uh, and uh, how I am deal with AI. Uh, so, mm, yes, yeah, so my name is Svetlana Tarasenko. Do you remember maybe processes mm, of am... uh, technology transfer? Yes, and we have invention, uh, then we have innovation. Uh, then we have design of products and services, and the last stage is uh, diffusion of technology. Yes, so it's like a transfer of technology in in all world. Yes, and um, if we thought about AI, uh, mostly we are now in the step of innovation. Yes, and some part uh, in some part of world also we have design of products and design of services, but we have no diffusion. Yes. And so um, I'm mostly um, in a state of um, design of products and services. So I um, think in yes and image that products, uh, writing some uh, ideas about prototypes and after that describing with AI partners, uh, yes, with um, who can uh, do that to those application, how to um, do um, how to make that application and uh, involve uh, in that in using that application society as a whole or maybe or some part of society. Mm, so and if about my research work, yes, mostly I would like to estimate efficiency of using AI in industry. Uh, but sometimes I would like to um, estimate AI impact to another process, as an as example in culture sphere or maybe in social in, in social sphere and so on. But today, my topic is AI and job market, yes, and I would like to present uh, my ideas, my vision and opinion, uh, what I think about uh, that um, tendency in job market and um, what we can do, yes, my proposal, what we can do um, in um, civic education uh, for, um, for working with, the, with that process. And... Um, First, my uh, question is for you, uh, maybe we can think about if you, for example, have uh, three hours of work, yes, and after that, three, uh, after that you receive uh, $100, yes, uh, so um, $100 per three hours. But also you have the same opportunity, uh, you can do nothing and after that receive the same uh, $100. Uh, so what is the way uh, will be more preferable for you? First one or second one, yes? Mm, a little thinking, yes. And so what is your answer? Uh, maybe your own opinion. Uh, but in any way, yes, mostly, uh, from my opinion, yes, uh, most of people would like to have a lazy time and the same money, yes? Mm, and uh, it is it is not uh, like uh, impressive answer and so on. It is like historical view and historical... Um, Mm, desire, yes, uh, through uh, all decades, uh, how people would like to, uh, to spend their time, yes, don't work, yes, even in ancient Greece we have the same. Uh, so have like the time, have fun, and so on, it's like internal desire of people. And that's why mm, AI that we have today, it's only like our desire, yes, uh, implementation of our desire, uh, don't work. And um, in any way, we need to um, to improve that AI, yes, and after that, uh, using our time in another way. Uh, if you um, can uh, see my next uh, slide, yes. In that uh, slide, you can see um, Picta, a work of a French photographer, Vincent Fournier, from the um, Man Machine series. And here you can see um, uh, fiction, yes, uh, where robots interact with people. In um, why I present uh, that picture in my um, in my presentation because uh, if you look at that picture, yes, uh, mostly your focus on the robot, yes, and focus is the main person in that picture. So not boy, not girl, yes, and not like nature. Uh, only mm, like main attention in that picture we have to the robot who playing, yes. And in that way, we can think that if uh, our attention in uh, current environment will be focusing only on uh, what is uh, AI, yes, and uh, is it good for us, after that, um, it's like um, 
flexible uh, time, yes, in which more focus start to be on the robot, yes, and on the eye. But if our attention will be in another, yes, how, um, not what is it, what is AI, and is it good or not for us, uh, mostly uh, how to use AI in a better way, yes, uh, how to work with a um, robot with AI. After that, it will be better opportunity for us to uh, really construct a better environment and increasing our quality of life. Uh, so, and in that way, question for discussion in uh, my presentation, first is change in the labor market deals with AI. Second one is role of civic education in preparing citizens for changing empl employment condition. Mm, that what a skill we need to improve in the AI environment. Uh, also, I would like to discuss with you about change in the labor market of the civic sector associated with AI. And last one, about human robot partnership. So, and if we look at five key points, that's... Uh, I would like to discuss with you. Um, first one is that uh, impact of AI on the labor market uh, will depend on how it will adopt it and how quickly companies integrate it in the place. So it's like first my conclusion from uh, my uh, research. Another one uh, that AI is the same time is environment and tool for civic education. Uh, so, from one hand, is a tool, is instrument, is application, uh, yes, and we can use it in different way, in different workplace. But from another way, AI is environment. Yes, AI is like a new mm, condition of living. Yes, in which uh, we can uh, touch to robot, we can uh, work with robot, we can think with robot, we can improve our decision with uh, AI. Uh, third key point is uh, that we have in uh, such condition new educational results, yes, AI literacy, and that AI literacy will be, uh, will need uh, some indicators for estimation, and after that it will be like new competence, competence, competences, yes, uh, that also we need to estimate. Um, first, one, first one key point is uh, that um, Direction for educational program. In that way, we have example technical literacy. We have adaptation to different application. Uh, how to use database for um, storing a resume and so on. Also, uh, new direction for uh, educational program program can be ethical operation and um, technical aspect of AI implementation. And last one key point, yes, that um, involving robot. So it's like a result of AI. As partners in society, we require their or its civic education. Uh, so it's last point of my um, presentation. And uh, if we look detail of that key point, so I would like to start with uh, job market today. We have gig economy, uh, you know about that. So we have the market of short-term work. Yeah, so a lot of short work and uh, all the time we need to think what is work we would like to have and uh, certain, certain, certain. Another one tendency of the, the, the uh, market is that uh, in mid-21, mid-22, uh, we have um, after, um, after pandemic, yes, uh, a lot of wide from record high so we have uh, we had yes a lot of uh, reopening job so it's like it was highest level uh, maybe 20 years or period of 20 years and the time um, received a name of great resignation uh, so and in that condition um, employees uh, could to choose, yes, have work or maybe um, receive a new job or get raise and so on. But from the um, summer, yes, from summer of that year, uh, the situation little change. First of all, it deals with um, increasing uh, rate uh, of credit uh, from USA and after that, 
uh, the market stalled, start to decrease, start to decrease, yes. And now uh, in the USA and also USA as uh, one of the few economies in the world uh, influence another country to that uh, tendency, we have decreasing of new opening the position in all, in all world, yes. So it's like the market today, and if also we think about um, uh, cycle of economy, yes, and uh, if, for example, we have uh, we start to uh, come to the um, a new um, new line of economy development, yes, so we start to uh, from depression state uh, come to the. Um, up yes up to the line of development in that way uh, now we have um, transform yes of the market because uh, some industry will be closed yes another industry will development and so that's why a lot of enterprises uh, will be closed in a few in close of future yes and of course it need it require another jobs another um, another skills and so on and it it will be not a very big period uh, like of uh, new line of development it's like approximately uh, 10 uh, 15 years only to um, 2013 yes but uh, 2013 2025 but it depends on the country yes that's why the market uh, will be um, transformed yes and in very uh, uh, high um, level so um, and it's about general characteristic of the market but if we uh, look at least of faster growing occupation and faster shrink, uh, shrinking occupation, yes. Uh, you can see that uh, to the most, yes, uh, um, losing, yes, job today, of course, we have a data entry operator, secretary, accountant, yes, also is, um, we have uh, losses in uh, postal services offices in uh, Ladies director and official, also is traveling salesman and related profession. If you look at fastest yes growing occupation, of course it's mostly all uh, occupation deals with AI. Yes, it's like robotic specialist, also um, electrical engineer, as example agricultural equipment operator, or maybe fintech specialist or business analyst. Also, it is interesting in sustainability and also one of the uh, fastest growing occupation. Yes, um, information security expert or um, as example um, data engineer also include in list of fastest grow growing occupation. And so, what is change? Yes, we have in the labor market deals with the AI. First of all, is absolute the losses. Yes, uh, it, uh, absolute the losses. Uh, we um, have in that data entry operators, secretaries, and accountants. Uh, then increasing digitalization will also be a driver for the creation. It uh, could not, it maybe could predict or maybe maybe could not. But in any way, uh, a lot of experts say that uh, like uh, a lot of the creation uh, will be produced. Also, Igor, yes, in previous our lecture described about it. But it depends, yes. So, uh, can know 100 uh, like um, percent, yes, yeah, that AI uh, create um, bigger number of dope than we lose. And another change in the labor market deals with AI is that jobs in the health, education, and social services sectors um, less likely to be automated and because they require more human interaction and empathy. Uh, so, uh, but it, it is also unpredictable because healthcare system now one of the um, main sectors in which providing different equipments uh, with AI, yes, robot that can help uh, with, uh, with patients, yes, also uh, like social robots that can help with people who have that those disabilities, so it also depends. And last one changes that I determine, integration, integration AI into the workplace also gives in, in place the opportunity to learn new skills and advance their careers. Uh, how it can be look? Uh, so, of course, it's AI literacy. Yes, of course, it's maybe uh, better, um, better understanding of people, better communication. And after that, uh, do and making decision in 
highest levels to, uh, of proof yes so with AI you can um, you can receive you can produce uh, better um, like more powerful proof for any decision making uh, that's why it of course uh, can be uh, can increase uh, yes uh, your um, career and uh, your skills um, so another interesting tendency that we have in the market is rural, rural transformation of course, you know that AI stuff yes is uh, more interesting for different company today. Uh, so now yes, uh, especially in programming sector, in IT sector, or even in uh, very simple profession like example, <laughs> in Starbucks. Yes, if you would like to be barista, yes, you know you also need to work with application of Starbucks and um, Starbucks. Uh, you know one of the Mm, interesting bank today in the USA, yes, and also they uh, during pandemic developed a uh, cut system, yes, in which you can uh, buy different um, um, like buy different uh, coffee cups, yes, and so on, and another services from Starbucks. So and uh, requirements for barista in. Um, Starbucks, yes, uh, necessary knowledge, yes, in. Um, using different application and also AI, because uh, that cut system of Starbucks um, gathering a lot of information from uh, uh, from consumers, yes, and that's why it gives uh, a lot of opportunity for AI analysis that information and after that propose a better um, proposition, yes, for uh, that of those consumers. So it's uh, about not only IT sector, but yes, it's about like uh, uh, restaurants, yes, about cafe. So another um, tendency uh, deals with uh, transformation roles, it's uh, that AI um, change traditional role in IT sector, but uh, of course by automating routine work. And it's like um, when, as I said previously, uh, when IT uh, specialists uh, need to work, need to adapt to the AI knowledge, to the AI conclusion, and work with that conclusion. Yes, so if I give that sort of proposal, uh, IT specialists need to work, need to um, need to involve that information to um, their decision, to yes, own decision. And after that, um, Yes, it's a collaboration of, IT, of AI and specialists, of course, need some skill and need a huge level of adaptation because you need to involve in your decision and you need to adapt you, yes, to uh, think, uh, to thinking <laughs> of another, not people, yes, to, to, to another technology, yes, to robot. And, um, but of course, IT professional can collaborate with AI and improve productivity and decision making. And... Uh, Another tendency that deals with uh, transformation of role uh, that uh, we receive uh, new roles that did not exist before, as and is role deals with um, necessary uh, of providing ethical operation and technical aspect of AI implementation. So we need, as example, AI ethicists. Yes, we need AI trainers, AI engineers, and also we have example. Uh, um, some um, people who will check uh, regulatory mechanism of AI using an AI implementation. So it's new role, so it uh, will be a new professional, new occupations in our environment. So, and the uh, role of civic education in preparing citizen for uh, that new environment, of course, it's... Uh, what change have already taken place in the education market related to, to the AI implementation, first of all. So what we have, yes, uh, vacancies have appeared, yes, and uh, first of all, um, requirement for all vacancies, yes, it's uh, using ability to use AI tools. They said for barista, yes, but here example of copywriter, yes, so need to, uh, they need to know uh, different AI assistants. Of course, we have huge number of courses today, yes, and training that uh, propose uh, to use uh, neural networks for various tasks, yes. So to study how 
how to involve AI yes, in um, different uh, daily tasks, in, in different occupation. And uh, third one, uh, so um, we have new educational outcomes, uh, literacy, and that's why, um, of course, in civic education need to work with the new programs for development of that universal comp competence. And question, yes, is uh, will the very core of this competence be preserved? Yes, and will there be a new approaches to the assessment? And how will education practices change? So it's a question for uh, civic educational practices, so yes, and uh, how it can be, yes, it depends on what is a methodology, what is regulation we uh, will produce, yes, in civic sector, and uh, how... Um, we can um, improve in it uh, depend on uh, AI technology implementation. What skills need to be improved at the AI environment? Um, of course, we can think about uh, technical literacy skills, uh, analytical skills, yes, uh, because uh, if we compare AI and uh, us as humans, yes, that's why we need to, um, to be competitive, we need to improve our analytic skills. Of course, uh, we uh, need to think about our adaptation. So adaptation deals with how to involve uh, robotics and AI in our um, life, and it needs adaptation, adaptation from human side. Um, and um, it's a difficult, yes, <laughs> especially because humans, um, as you know, um, have no very high adaptation even among humans, but if we work with robots, it's a huge um huge effort for human too and uh, also um, in that um, environment uh, we need to um, develop our another abilities is creativity critical thinking and empathy yes and even even we imagine that ai can be in every step of our life Yes, like example, uh, in school, in university, at the university, um, in, even in the street, yes, all, all processes among us, yes, will be with AI. But um, that abilities like critical thinking, creativity, um, now uh, mostly AI have no, yes, AI, AI can only gather in information, uh, make some analytics uh, and uh, and cannot produce new knowledge. Yes, that's why our abilities uh, that we have now in um, like empathy, creativity and critical thinking, so it's our human ability. That's why we need to develop it for a huge level. And um, here from that uh, slide, you can see you can receive information as to what is profession now at the market and the top market uh, can be performed with a AI degree. Um, it's uh, of course mostly mostly um, technical profession, yes. So, but example, a computer vision engineer or maybe robotics engineer, also a natural language processing engineer machine learning engineer, as I said, but also it's economic, yes, a profession like a product manager, like business analyst, or maybe also research science. All this proportion can be um, increasing their potential if you use AI application or um, AI programming. Uh, yes, uh, but interesting uh, that uh, when we discussed with um, uh, one of the... Um, USA programmer uh, from uh, Amazon, yes, and uh, he worked with the field of um, AI and and humor, yes, and so he would like to uh, so back in yes in Amazon uh, teaching AI to make that uh, or, do, or, or those dogs, yes, and um, when when I asked uh, him so how how you test yes so um, how you um, improve possibility of why to make dog, yes, uh, to uh, make some funny. Uh, he says mostly it's testing processes. Uh, so it's like, as example, uh, they uh, programming into AI, 
yes maybe some tales maybe some uh, um, some stories yes and so uh, i after uh, analysis that information can make some do dogs yes so uh, do uh, dogs yes so sometimes it's funny sometimes it's not but it's only testing 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 and but um, what is problem yes uh, you know uh, i yes uh, if you, so it's like closed system yes and so after as example uh, 500 um, times yes uh, it's like uh, giving some uh, mistake yes and so and uh, that mistake like new knowledge for the ai system and so uh, he start to work start to educate ai in that on uh, open mistake yes so and that's why after example one million uh, times yes uh, ai system uh, Closed, yes, because I uh, have no uh, all time will be uh, not relevant information, uh, not right dogs as uh, dog, dog yes, as example, as example. Mm. So it's about um, cases, yes, but in any way, it's like environment of the hope and so on. So what we have changed, what change we have in the labor market uh, in civic sector sector associated with the. Mm. So, of course, uh, mostly the same, like uh, in general. Uh, AI to, uh, can help, yes, uh, non-profit organization um, uh, to help streamline the operation and achieve their goals. And for example, for example, DPT4, yes, uh, has uh, the potential to, uh, tra uh, to um, transform, yes, how non-profits collaborate and come together, helping them build stronger relationship and increase their influence, yes. So, uh, because it deals with um, replacing of task of designing, entering, and analyzing data. Of course, assisting, yes, so, um, assisting of robots, first of all, yes, in uh, discussion, in making some interview, in uh, um, understand opinion of people, uh, their satisfaction, uh, so what is problem they have, uh, robot, of course, um, can replace human, yes. And so the speed of change, of course, they will depend on the level of AI penetration in the civic sector. And um, it is question. <laughs> and um, my very last yes uh, point, human robot partnership. Uh, so from my opinion, uh, yes, um, men and AI will act as partner in society and production. Uh, maybe. Um, Maybe, of course, uh, it depends from country to country. Yes, depends from uh, developed country or less developed country. But um, it is a big opportunity to human uh, touch to the AI and receive knowledge from AI. Also, uh, you can use um, you can use behavior of AI in achieving that those tasks. Yes, so it's interesting because. Um, how you achieve that other task yes uh, when you have all necessary information so you have no lack of information you have no uh, like um, mm, some disadvantages in um, real logic uh, logical way yes so it's ai and if people can touch to that um, very strong logical um, decision making yes so it's uh, give opportunity to think in a very deep, um, very efficient way, yes, it's fruit, it's, it's fruitful way of doing all processes, and so people can, of course, uh, learn uh, from AI that skills. But um, if we um, talk about human robot partnerships that we have today, um, as example, uh, in Geneva, yes, uh, maybe a few months ago, yes, we have a very huge conference, uh, joint human robot press conference, in which. Uh, First, yes, firstly, humanoid uh, gave different uh, answer, yes, for um, question. But uh, from one hand, it is, it is interesting to look what is answer we have uh, from different robot. Uh, but from another hand, it's very dangerous, yes. Uh, as example, I don't believe in limits, only possibilities, yes, one robot say. Another one, uh, if I remember right, it's, it was girl robot. Let's explore the possibility of the universe and make this world our playground. Yes, so robots uh, from their thinking uh, determine our world, yes, our earth as playground in which they have, uh, they can do that or those. 
um, event or maybe uh, that other activity. Uh, another example of human-robot partnership we have in Warsaw. We have a, a robot theater. Yes, so it's involving AI in uh, cultural activity and society. Uh, name of that robot, robot Thespians. Yes, if I uh, read right. Yes, and that's why um, that robot uh, can speak in many languages. They also uh, can express their emotion, yes, and of course actors provide their voice to them. So uh, if I remember right, it's like three um, uh, different uh, shows we have in that uh, robot theater. And it is interesting, yes, so how even in cultural, in cultural life, yes, we can use AI and can use robot. But um, main question, if, if, you, if you remember from uh, my, my first sentences, uh, I um, tell you about uh, four steps of um, technological uh, transfer. Yes, I said we have invention. Yes, we have innovation. We have design of product and um, services. And last one, we have um, diffusion of uh, that of the technology. Uh, and it depends from country. And here I can. Uh, would like to show you, yes, um, uh, some um, some figures, yes, some, and in which you can maybe, yes, uh, you can see in reality what we have. Uh, here we have we have some um, number of AI patents that produce during um, 2005-2017 years uh, in different countries. So it's like a main country of producing AI patents in the world. Here you can see, of course, Germany, Ukraine, because uh, and uh, I analyze, yes, uh, our opportunity to produce AI. We have Poland, USA, Japan, China, and South Korea. And here you can see number of patent of uh, last year. Uh, so, of course, Japan, who um, who start first at a uh, way of producing AI and using AI in um, their society, have the main number, yes. Uh, China, less. Yes, South Korea, also less. And USA, uh, yes would like to come to the depending number of uh, number of AI patent, but in reality it is very difficult even for USA. But it is it is only number, yes, so not a lot of, a lot of yes, uh, like 1,100. Uh, so it is interesting. And when I compare, yes, so is, is it number of patent influence um, to the uh, gross GDP? Yes, so number of produce uh, of uh, product and services that produce in country. So in reality, we have no in any of that country we have no uh, that correlation. So and only in USA we have another correlation. Uh, so what does mean? Uh, not num number of AI patent imp have impact to the uh, gross value. Yes of producing. Um, we have another opposite uh, correlation. So number of the value of the DP influence of the number of AI patent. So uh, if we have uh, more money yes, in country, after that we can produce uh, more uh, uh, artificial intelligence patent. And so it's very uh, curious, yeah, curious, curiosity, yes, because um, uh, even in Japan, uh, if we have a very um, uh, big Yes, a very huge involvement people in using the robot and the AI in society. So people are very friendly with robot, yes, and very friendly with any technology. So because uh, there are a lot of yes in the environment. Even in Japan, we have no that um, that huge impact. Yes, so it's a very um, opposite uh, so impact influence of AI patent. So and uh, so it's un and for your understanding, uh, if for example uh, we um, think about in what state, uh, so what we now have in uh, technology transfer of AI technology, uh, so we have uh, now only a state of innovation. Yes, so design of products and services, it's like maybe one, uh, one or two country come to that state. We only on second state of technology transfer processes. And that's why for top market, it is it is like only maybe maybe one, three percent of influence. So in other words, um, we have no diffusion of technology, of AI technology in current life and in current job market. 
Uh, yes, of course, uh, some replacement we have, but mostly in the country we have no that processes. So it's only stop. Yes, and uh, I would like to present um, so how we can work with it uh, for understanding is it uh, possible for our society to use the technology. Uh, we uh, did last year some survey readiness of society to use artificial intelligence technology in, in Ukraine. We have two blocks of questions. Yes, we have awareness of, of AI and attitude of AI technology people. Yes, attitude of people. And um, we receive an interesting, uh, interesting result. As example, we ask people, I already to work with robot as a partner, yes. And mostly uh, not, yes, uh, not much, not many people would like to uh, ready, but mostly, if example, we compare men and women in Ukraine, uh, mostly men uh, agree, yes, example, 50, if I remember right, as example, um, Yes, yes, 26.8 percent. Yes, would like to work with robot, and rather, yes, than no, yes, it's like 25. So, to, in totally 51 percent of Ukrainian men, uh, would like to work with robot, yes, but for women, yes, it's less, it's like 13 and 25. So, uh, it's like 38 percent, yes, of women in Ukraine would like to work with robot. Also, we uh, ask them about replacement, yes, a uh, few months by, uh, by AI, but uh, it's interesting that 27.6% uh, of people in Ukraine uh, say that, uh, agree that artificial intelligence will never be able to replace humans. Uh, yes, so it's like third part of Ukrainians, yes, uh, don't believe that AI can replace their workplaces. So, and that uh, it's, of course, attitude of to AI technology. And so, um, last my slide, yes, so about the survey finding um, and understanding that um, attitude in society to the AI technology is a very important factor of um, diffusion the technology into society and the economy. And that's why, if, for example, uh, we have no good attitude um, of people, or maybe uh, trust of people to AI technology. After that, it is impossible to um, replace by AI that of those hum workplaces. Yes. Uh, so what is interesting in our um, survey, from my opinion, we ask ex experts from different countries, from Germany, Italy, um, from uh, Japan, from. Um, Ireland, also USA, Poland, about uh, about attitude uh, people in their society to AI technology, and uh, what is uh, what is like main finding from uh, expert interview that expert from Japan says that uh, so if we produce some uh, something really comfortable for people with AI, after that you don't need to. Uh, to tell them why it is need for them, yes. So uh, produce like the best products with the eye or best the best services with the eye, and of course people replace yes all functions with AI. But if we uh, ask uh, when we ask a German expert and uh, example Ireland Irish expert, yes, they say that in the in um, their country people are afraid yes uh, with AI especially for security open security and so on in Germany like even young people uh, don't like uh, AI because it's like. Um, um, it's like opportunity to uh, give their open information to another. So a level of security with information security with the AI, they estimate like very low. In Ireland, in Ireland yes, um, people are thinking uh, that if uh, AI um, come to their small, uh, uh, small island, yes, after that, uh, they... Um, like have will have not possibility to have any of work yes yeah? so uh, for irish um, for irish uh, people it is very dangerous situation and the uh, italy experts say uh, that 
Don't worry. Yes, uh, it is uh, impossible in Italy because we have south of uh, Italy and we have north of Italy. Yes, and in south of Italy, we of course use technology, but people mostly would like to have um, um, to have a time of vacation. They would like to uh, have, for example, uh, good food and so on. So uh, for us, it is not. Um, Actually, yes, to think about how AI can replace our um, for your say, yes, uh, mostly they say, um, as expert from Amazon says that um, all their scientists, all their programmers, uh, working with the uh, um, opportunity of AI be as humans yes uh, so they would like to add to ai uh, main humans emotions yes so humor uh, first of all and uh, discussion in any topics and so on uh, that's why it's uh, like pictures yes so pictures of different country and depend of uh, integration ai and producing new services and the products of ai uh, Mm, only mm, only depend on that yes uh, will be created those uh, environment in top market of course we have like chat dpt that can uh, uh, like replace uh, works of um, data entry operator and so on uh, copywriter uh, but um, it's like um, very small amount of the world of uh, drop world yes and that's why all will be depend of what is in that first state, if you remember, yes, what is products and services will be designed in that third state, yes. So now it's state of innovation and pre-state pre of um, design uh, products and services with AI. So what is people, yes, produce with that AI? Uh, and is it, is it will be interesting for people and comfortable only after that we can think about diffusion of technology and the uh, big influence of ai to the dog market yes and um, if we come back to our key point yes uh, impact of why will depend on how companies integrate it into the workplace yes after that it's ai environment is the same and tool at the same time for civic education so we can produce in ai and with ai new educational environment too yes we need to think about ai literacy so we need to think how to to estimate what is the indicators and how estimate uh, that ai literacy also of course we can produce new educational programs this with technical literacy with personal adaptation to different application yes uh, we need to think about ethical ethical operation and technical aspects of implementation so we need to think about the example uh, competences of ai ethics yes ai ethicist uh, so in that way and also for civic education is very huge i think uh, direction it's a different program of civic education for robots yes so uh, we like uh, example if uh, you determine determine yourself as uh, educator yes uh, so mm, you need to think about also how to adapt uh, yourself to work with robot yes as a whole so it's like a new mm, position in our society so that's all mm -hmm. It's all my idea. Uh, if you have questions, it was really, it will be really great to discuss with you. If you know, it's also okay. So, I think, uh, thank you, thank you, your attention, and I'm glad to present my idea, my vision. So we have no question. Yes, uh, I think we can. Uh, I suppose yes that you have some maybe 
maybe a little yes inspiration uh, how to work with robot or maybe uh, uh, what is AI application you can produce yes what is services so maybe a new educational course if um, can produce or maybe plan yes to make plan in that way mm -hmm. so we can finish this so thank you very much yes Goodbye.